The Three Corners Plaza Fairuz Beach Resort is one of the best all-inclusive resorts in Mursa Alam. It has so much to offer, so many things to do. It is one of the best all-inclusives as well. We're going to be showing you the breakfast, lunch, dinner um, in this hotel, things to do, the room tour, and also what the house reef in the hotel and the nearby reefs look like. We are going to be showing you Mursa Mubarak as well and how to get to Mursa Mubarak and also the overall hotel review now this hotel is in Mursa Alam as I said before it's a resort there's nothing really anything around it and um, so leaving the hotel is only really possible by car walking is going to take you an awful long time if you want to get somewhere one of the best things about this hotel is the sea view every morning the sunrise view is absolutely breathtaking We used a Stevens taxi to get to the hotel from the airport and um, you can also use a taxi provided by the hotel but it was just a little bit more expensive so if you want to save some money Stevens taxi is a really good rated taxi company and they have a fixed price. Now as soon as we got to the hotel we got some great welcome drinks. This is the reception and the lobby area in the hotel the reception was always nice and clean there was always someone available there to ask questions um, and um, also this is the lobby uh, which was very very quiet and um, not many people there in the daytime but in the nighttime the restaurant outside does tend to get busy there's always sort of music and uh, drinks available at this restaurant um, so a great option if you want to spend your evening somewhere now this is also the area where you get to see the hotel's shop so yes there is actually a little very tiny shopping center in the hotel itself and there are shops that sell souvenirs clothes and um, shoes bags really anything you need uh, there are about 10 to 12 shops here there's also some atm if you want to take some cash out um, or if you want to exchange some money also has some other great facilities like its in-house gym so yes the gym is available to all guests there are lots of machines there um, all the machines you really need um, for a good workout and right next to the gym you have got the clinic if you get ill that facility is there as well and um, there's also a games room place where you've got pool tables and a spa which has its own swimming pool and they do multiple different types of treatments in the spa and they also have a hammam room where you can get Turkish hammam, a Turkish massage. Um, so we actually visited the hammam room and again they've got the, all the facilities there um, if you want to have any uh, face or body treatments. Um, so it smelled really nice in there as well. Um, and just a tip is they have fixed prices but you can actually ask them um, to alter the prices. Uh, that's something that's possible. Other facilities include the kids club. So there's a nice little uh, playground kids uh, play area. We didn't see any kids. It was really hot that day. So maybe that's why. But they also have a kids swimming pool, which was also very quiet. Um, it's on the sort of the quieter end um, of the resort. So they have a nice little shallow uh, kids or baby swimming pool. And they also have other swimming pools as well. And um, also a kids jacuzzi, which is again quite 
shallow and um, the adults pool does tend to get really busy this is the adults pool and um, so if you do want to um, have a seat at the adults pool we would recommend uh, to put your towels down quite early in the morning we've seen some people get up at um, six in the morning um, and put their reserve their um, chairs so yes it does tend to get busy and do reserve it as early as you can now there are many private beaches in this hotel one of our favorite beach is the relax beach it's always a quieter one um, and also has some great views that is the main beach over there and then relax beach is the one that we're at we're on at the moment and um, again very quiet and not many people here but the main beach does tend to get busy um, in the day again if you do want to reserve a chair or, or chairs then make sure you put your towels down and reserve it so the relaxed beach is a nice little corner um, where again you can actually snorkel from um, but yes the beaches are lovely you've got the crystal clear blue water and um, palm trees um, it's very lovely and and it's a great place to spend your day this is uh, the house reef in uh, the three corners uh, Fairuz Plaza Hotel and um, again you can clearly see um, the water is so clear which is great for snorkeling and you've got a shallow end and a deep end so if you're not a confident snorkeling person like myself you can actually practice in the shallow end and make your way to the deeper end the coral is of course better in the deeper end but for now let's give you a quick room tour um, so we actually are staying at one of the basic um, double rooms uh, we were staying um, in the basic room but they gave us an upgrade um, with a sea view room now all rooms have a balcony um, it was really nice this uh, walking sort of staircase that led us um, to our room just sort of gave it a little bit of privacy um, but yes we are staying in room number 4181 which was the corner room right at the corner end um, of the corridor um, and now we're just going to go in and show you what it looks like so as soon as you enter the room you see the bathroom on the right side and then you've got the room right the bedroom right in front of you and the balcony after that the toilet uh, was great nicely clean and it also came with lots of amenities um, which we were actually not expecting um, but it was great um, to use and then you've got the wardrobes you've got a um, your bed on on the right hand side they'd very kindly um sort of done it for us um it was a little bit messy prior to this and then right next to the bed you've got the little lamp on the side and the side tables um and then you have got the balcony now all rooms come with balcony and you've also got a little sofa um sort of to sit and relax um, if you don't want to go on the bed the balcony was great every morning we woke up and this is where we saw the sunrise from you can see the sea you can also see the main beach of the hotel it's also great for drying your snorkeling uh, clothes or beach clothes um, as it was very hot um, in Mursa Alam Egypt um, so yes the balcony um, was great every room comes with a balcony the only thing about the room I would say is that it wasn't a double bed it was actually two single beds which were sort of made into a double bed but we didn't really complain as we were out most of the time now we are going to take you to the main restaurant and show you what um, lunch buffet looks like so we're going to start from lunch then move on to dinner and breakfast so lunch uh, came with lots of different types of salads so there were so many different types of salads i've never seen this many this much variety of salads in a hotel's um, meal plan which was great because you could really pick what type of salad you wanted um, you also had a choice of bread as you normally would um, with the salads there were also many multiple types of uh, live stations where you could get your fresh food from which i'll show you in a little bit um, but yes you could get chicken um, or fish they were sort of the popular options um, we'd noticed and again lots of different types of um, hot food like rice rice is very popular in Egypt again a very popular option in lunch and dinner meat um, vegetables um, you also had a vegetarian and vegan corner 
this was um sort of pizza and chips again for lunch uh, we sort of um also had option from either the healthier side or the not so healthier side of food um and you had spices pickles um and we also had soup there was always soup available um, for breakfast lunch and dinner which was great um so you could go for sort of the healthier soups if you wanted and um, there was also a bread corner again the bread corner was there uh, three times um, a day so the uh, lunch breakfast and dinner and um, you always had some bread options and pasta live station was always there for lunch and dinner and um, so you could ask uh, for the pasta that you really wanted you could create your own pasta um, for lunch again just some of the things I've missed out are the chips um, and uh, chicken and peas um, and then we also had some other hot options but vegetarian options um, that were on the side so vegetarian vegan they can actually um, incorporate that so if you ask them they can actually um, alter their meals um, for any allergies as well so we met a lovely lady um, who said that you know she had some allergies and the hotel uh, really sort of looked after her and made sure that her meals were cooked separately and so on um, this is the dessert um, corner you've got sort of hot um, dessert and then you've also got the cold desserts which include sort of the cakes um, this was another salad corner so yes a lot more salad there was just a lot of salad options for lunch um, and uh, yes so this is pretty much what the lunch looks like at the three corners plaza ferrous hotel and it's actually a great option uh, we got lots of food um, and it was greatly cooked as well so no complaints there and we never had to wait for a table so although the hotel was pretty much fully booked we got a table quite instantly and there is actually option to sit outside as well um, if you if you wish to do that now we are going to move on to um, showing you what an afternoon snack looks like. So you get breakfast, lunch, afternoon snack and dinner. The afternoon snacks are served uh, next to the beach. So they're not served in the main restaurant. And um, that is the beach over there. You can see the main beach. So I think that's great because you are normally spending your afternoon at the beach. Um, and in the afternoon snack, it's not really heavy food. It's more ice creams, wraps, um, sort of chips. So the the lighter kind of foods the popular option of course was ice cream so ice cream is not served at any other time of the day and um, it is only served during the afternoon snack period and um, so it is the popular option you've got your donuts and other uh, sweet stuff there as well and then you can also ask for fresh wraps to be made for you and um, the food options do change day by day, day by day I'm obviously just showing you one day um, but yes it changes per day now we are going to move on to dinner dinner was back at the main restaurant um, and you can see it's actually very different to lunch um, there's more wraps um, there, there's more salads but there's sort of different types of salads there were lots of uh, cheese options available as well for dinner and then instead of sort of the fish and uh, instead of sort of the chicken at lunch we have the fish so fried fish and um, so again they changed that around the fish was really really lovely um, um i was a bit hesitant to eat it at first but it was again cooked really well you also had chicken there as well <laughs> and other options um available for dinner you had then rice but different type of rice boiled rice instead of the sort of the mexican type rice in at lunchtime um, and again lots of meat options um in egypt we have noticed meat is very very popular so you will tend to see it during lunch or dinner and sometimes even for breakfast they actually have um, minced uh, meat as a breakfast option and then again you have your live station where you can ask to have pasta made however you want and the vegetarian and uh, vegan um, hot station as well um, now for dinner they also had some sort of noodles um, they also had curry and potatoes but different um, types of potatoes rather than the french fries they had sort of fried potatoes and dessert corner was again quite similar to lunch uh, but different types of cakes um, there were many different flavors um, of cakes so you can you really get quite spoiled um, here and fresh fruit as well if you want to be healthy and you don't want to be eating all them cakes and um, so you've got lots of different fresh fruit options watermelon bananas um, apples uh, plums and so on 
and the drinks uh, corner which i forgot to show you for lunch is always there as well your standard tea coffee juice um so yes you can get unlimited um a fizzy drink so you get sort of mirinda pepsi um sprite and so on and then yes you've got your bread corner again as i said before there's always soup options either one or two soups uh, which is which are great there are actually some very nice and healthy soups available there and salads as again quite popular um, and you will always see a salad option um, so there was a lot to choose from really um, with both lunch and dinner there were some differences especially for dinner there was a sushi corner uh, which wasn't there for lunch um, so dinner they do tend to change around they tend to do sort of different countries sometimes Italian Spanish and so on which is great so you don't get bored but that was dinner really really nice now we're gonna move on to breakfast so this is the breakfast um, straight away you can see there's a lot of cold options compared to the hot options so you've got different types of salamis chickens you've got salads but then you have got the hot corner as well so uh, this sort of chicken dish spices um, you also had soup again um, for breakfast they sort of had different types of soups um, and then they had egg the standard sort of english breakfast options french toast um tomatoes boiled eggs and so on and then they also have a live um station which i'll show you later on where you can um ask uh, for omelets or uh, fried eggs if you want it to be cooked a certain way um i definitely i got a omelet pretty much every breakfast and it was always great and um, so i would recommend having the omelets from the omelet station um it was it was cooked really well um and yes you've got the pastry um option there um so you've got your donuts um and croissants um which is again quite standard for breakfast they also have sort of the hot croissants and the cold croissants so again you could really choose which ones you wanted um but a great breakfast spread as well overall what i do want to say is that um the options were huge in this hotel and some of the best options that i have seen overall um in all-inclusive hotels we have previously stayed at all-inclusive hotels but this is probably one of the best uh, we've seen and the staff were absolutely lovely and um, they always had a smile on their face and um they were sort of always pouring down drinks and um, there was um everyone was really really friendly um, and yes you've got the fresh pancake station which was one of my favorite stations um i love pancakes for breakfast um so yes um a lot to offer and uh, we would really give this sort of a nine out of ten uh, for meal plan for an all-inclusive hotel they've really gone out and above um and they've got so much to offer that you will just not get bored <laughs> there's sort of a meal uh, going around all day now as because we stayed there for four nights we also got a voucher to use at one of their main restaurants which is not the buffet restaurant we went for the lebanese restaurant um, and got mixed grill there which we would highly recommend um, so again the main restaurant was also really really good we're going to move on to other things in the hotel now you do get an option to take a shuttle to port galib from the hotel um, if you don't fancy the food in the hotel then this place will definitely have something that you want to eat there's so many different types of restaurants bars and clubs here and um, so there are uh, restaurants where you can eat different types of cuisines um, whether you want egyptian or um, if you want something european as well there's that option this is also the place where you can get Get boats from in the morning if you want to do snorkeling trips and yes they've got a shopping center much bigger than the one in the hotel but they are it is very expensive so i would say be very careful when you're buying here do remember to haggle um they will charge you quite a lot because it's a touristy place um but yes port galib is great if you are looking uh, to spend your evening somewhere uh, we were not really a big fan of it um i think we much rather sort of have spent it in the hotel but uh, we wanted to check it out so it's great if you want to have a drink 
and so on um, or if you want to have a sort of chilled evening outside of the hotel but other than that we preferred the hotel so yes coming back to the hotel other facilities available um, are that you can actually hire your snorkeling and scuba diving equipment from the hotel itself and uh, they had their own little sort of um, area like a little shop where you could hire um, equipment the prices weren't so bad um, we needed to hire quite a bit like the life jacket the fins um, so it wasn't too bad for us we didn't have to hire the snorkeling uh, gear so it, it worked out quite cheap but um, yes it's not as bad as it would be in some uh, European countries this is the house reef in the hotel um, so you sort of just walk on it as I said before it starts from the shallow end which literally the water's up to your knees and then it increases as you go further I started um, from the shallow end just to sort of um, gain some more practice before I go to the deep end um, so that option is available for you and there's actually quite a lot of fish on the shallow end but now we're going to take you to Mursa Mubarak which is a reef that's quite close to the hotel about a 15 minute walk on average and it's a fine walk I mean before going I didn't really know what to expect but it's a it's a fine walk there's nothing to worry about um, you can just it's 10 to 15 minutes walk and um, yes just make sure you take sensible shoes uh, when you're walking there but this reef is great if you want to see the dugongongs and the turtles now there isn't really any coral um, at Mursa Mubarak there's mostly grass which makes it perfect for the turtles and the dugongongs because that's their food um, and we were very lucky to see the dugongong on our very first snorkel at Mursa Mubarak our tips would be to go really early in the morning and um, so for the dugongong we sort of woke up at uh, five o'clock in the morning and really just left uh, for Mursa Mubarak at 5 30 so it was very very early in the morning um, and we were lucky enough to see the dugongong um, now there were other people there as well um, to, who were having a look at the dugongong so um, try not to go obviously close to the dugongong um, don't touch it as we would normally say as well we do need to protect especially the dugongongs as they are nearly extinct um, but yes it was a great experience we would really recommend the Mursa Mubarak Reef if you are interested in either seeing the dugongong or the turtles but as I said before there are no corals here um, but we will go back to our house reef um, and show you the corals that uh, the Three Corners Faroos Hotel has. Um, but yes, we were very impressed uh, with Mursa Mubarak. Um, also, there is a lifeguard from the Three Corners Hotel at Mursa Mubarak always, which is great. Again, they really look after you and they really protect you. They even take your name and room number down every time you go to make sure that, you know, everything's fine at the end of the day and you return back and nothing's happened. Uh, but this is us going from Mursa Mubarak with the other people as you can see back to the three corners Ferrous hotel that's our hotel and that's our uh, main beach area and there you can see a person just sitting there always there to take your name and room number down this is the house reef at the Three Corners uh, Firehouse Plaza Beach Resort. So this is the private um, coral reef that we've got and only hotel guests can use. So Mursa Mubarak gets quite busy, especially in the afternoon and evenings with all the tour, tours coming, the boats, and then they've got a hotel there as well. So it can get very packed. Whereas the reef in the hotel is only for guests, no boats are allowed here. So you really get it to yourself. Um, this is the deeper end and um, this is uh, really the, the only deeper end that you can go to um, and it really doesn't disappoint. There is so much fish, so much live uh, life in this um, sort of area. We were so impressed. It's actually even better than some of the corals we've seen in Maldives. Um, again, we would really, really recommend Mursa, not only the hotel, but really Mursa Alam if you do like snorkeling um, and it's something you enjoy. Now, if that's not enough to make you want to book your flights and your hotel um, and stay at this uh, amazing all-inclusive resort, then there is more. Yes, you can never get bored at this hotel. They have amazing 
evening and afternoon activities one of the um, popular afternoon activities is the phone party um, so yes that was really really fun everyone had a great time um, at the phone party and it happens quite consistently um, so there's a sheet at breakfast which has details on what the activities are going to be on the day so have a look at that and then there's also evening entertainment so they do a show every evening um, once a week they do a fire show and that is quite a popular show so do have a look at the itinerary and get involved um, but they also do a, a volleyball in the swimming pool um, every day as well there's two times a day they do that and then and you've got the bar next to the pool as well again with unlimited drinks alcoholic and non-alcoholic but as we drink only non-alcoholic drinks um, it was still great for us but those who do drink alcoholic that option is there available for you this is a beautiful hotel again i just want to emphasize it is one of the best all-inclusive hotels we have been to and we would definitely recommend it to anyone um, in doubt um, it has great snorkeling um, areas and it's also got great food and great customer service everyone was super lovely no one tried to sort of um, get money off us as you normally do see in the reviews and YouTube videos no one tried to sort of charge us extra on anything everyone was just genuinely super super helpful so yes we would definitely recommend anyone wanting to go to this hotel and also visit Mosa Alam. We hope you enjoyed watching this overly detailed review. Do remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you did and follow us on Instagram. Take care.